Welcome to the series of videos on Pipe Network Productivity Tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, we'll discuss the Pipe Slope Multiple command. Pipe Slope Multiple was created as a way to modify the pipe slopes or elevations in your pipe network uh, through an entire run very quickly. So the command works both profile and plan view. And when you run it, you'll see you have slope, elevation, skip, and settings. So if we go to settings, we can control how we're controlling our elevations by crown, center line, or invert. And then our slope form, percentage, or decimal. And then perform pipe drop at null structures. Uh, some people like to have that happen. so you can have that option there um, and just check it if you if you need that to happen at your null structures because uh, in sanitary runs we do want drops to happen occasionally uh, 0.1 or 0.5 or something like that um, and the command will do the drop as well through structures so if you need it to happen at null structures just check this box additionally you can go to skip and on the skip command, you can specify specific structures in your run that you want it to skip for the, where those drops happen. So um, when it prompts you for drops, you can plug in which structures you want it to skip over, and it will do that. So for now, we're going to run slope and elevations. So let's start by slope, and I'm going to pick my downstream structure and I'm gonna pick my upstream structure. And it's automatically gonna go through and pick the, the shortest distance route from the plan view of the network. And again, it's, it's, it's all working off of the plan view, but when you select the profile view structures, it's pointing back to the plan view. So it's finding that quickest path through the network, the shortest distance, and obtaining a selection of pipes from that. And so it's, it's automatically gonna tell you what the start invert elevation from the start of your selection. So that's 64305 for the invert there. And so I'm gonna use 640 instead. And then it's gonna ask for a new slope in percentage form here. So let's run it at 2%. And then here's the drop value that I was mentioning. So you could enter in 0.1 or 0.5, whatever your drop in every structure is. In this case, I'm just going to run 0. And you can see you've quickly made your adjustment to your pipe run, um, quickly making adjustments to your design um, through, through this network. So if we take a look at uh, our pipes, we can see the start and elevation was used and the 2% was used as well. Now, the other option is to run it by elevations. So sometimes you know uh, roughly the elevation at your downstream end, but you know that your upstream end might tie uh, to a connection at a building that has to be five feet below the slab elevation. So when you use elevations mode, um, it's going to gather the lengths of all the pipes that's in the collection and it's going to use that to compute what the grade of the pipe should be in that run. So if we pick here and pick here, now I've got my pipe lengths. Total pipe run is 523.43 and my starting elevation is 640. So we'll leave that. And maybe our end elevation I know needs to be um, three feet below the slab, which is 655. So let's say it needs to be 652. And then again, it's going to ask you if you want to do a drop. Let's say no on this for right now. And it's going to compute, based on that length, what the grade should be and set that on the pipe. So it computed that the grade needed to be 2.29% to uh, make that happen. So if we take a look at our pipes, it's used that grade um, that it computed. So a great really fast way to make your pipe adjustments. Now, some of you out there may be, you know, 
I've seen a lot of questions on this on the forums, and so I'm gonna kind of address this here, is how do you handle when your pipes need to be to the inner wall of the structure? Because I've seen people creating labels with expressions and things like that. And that that's not really necessary um, with Civil 3D because we can adjust our pipes to the inner wall of the structure. And the pipe slope multiple, pipe slope single, all of these tools will work with those um, pipes being at the inner wall of the structure because the way it's done, the pipe is adjusted, the start and end point is adjusted and the, the length values are actual to the pipe. So if we take a look at our pipe here, you can see it's going to the center of the structure. So if I go to pipe properties, you can see my lengths here, 2D length, center to center is 150, inside edges is 146. So if I go to my rules, I've got a couple of rules in here, one for center and one for inner wall. If I switch my rule set to inner wall, I've set up a rule set that uses the set pipe end location and I set it to the structure inner wall on either end. So if I select OK and I apply that rule to that pipe, now you can see the pipe got pulled in and it's using the inner wall of each structure on either side. Now the only issue with this is if these pipes or if these structures were swapped out for a larger size, you would have to rerun this rule to obtain the correct um, wall location. And usually in doing that, you need to set it back to center first and then back again to the inner wall to get it to compute. So um, it's a little bit of a of a manipulation there, but it does work. So if we set this one to the inner wall and then apply this, you can see that one got adjusted there. So if I go to my pipe properties and take a look at my links, you can see now my 2D center to center is showing as 146 and my 2D length inside edges is also showing 146. So um, it's really a, a, a great way to get your pipes adjusted to the inner walls of the structure and, act, and having true lengths um, to where the pipes are going to be as, as opposed to having them to the center of structures. So a little bit of manipulation to get that, but just to show you that this command does work with this, we'll run a pipe slope multiple through this, and I'm going to run by slope. We'll pick from this point to this end point. So I've got a mix of both um, ones that are set to the inner wall and ones that are set to the center. And our start elevation, I'm going to use 630, and we'll do it at 1% this time. And then let's do a pipe drop in the structures of 0.5, so you can see for a sanitary situation. So you can see that it went through, and if I take a look at this pipe in particular that is set to the inner walls, it's at 1%, it's at the correct elevations, and you know it's using these links in here off the pipe to, to, to work out the computation. So um, it's setting it to the correct values. And then if you take a look at these elevations here, let's go to the structure so that we can see the connected pipes you can easily see that there's a half a foot drop between the between the pipes um, in this structure right here 631 46 and 631 96 so it did apply that that drop um, on the structures there and it, you can also select your runs in either direction you don't have to go from low to high or high to low it doesn't matter it also does not matter which way the flow direction is. If you're familiar with Civil 3D and how you're laying things out, you usually have to tell Civil 3D which way the flow of your pipe goes um, by, a, by changing the flow direction. It, it does not matter for this. Um, it's going to go based on the order that you selected. So if you picked here and run this way, it's, gonna, it's going to start here and run this way and do its computations that way and vice versa. So really great tool for um, quickly changing your pipe slopes and elevations. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And be sure to check out our other apps on the Autodesk Exchange Store.